Hey, what's going on guys? Sky Fury DX here and welcome back. Thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video. This is a video for my new players out there, my new homies. Uh, there are a few things that are going on in the game at the moment that you can take advantage of. This video is not really going to benefit anybody who's been playing for a long time, like for a long time being, you know, like any time uh, before or during the third year anniversary. But anyway, we're going to jump in and uh, we're going to take a look at what is going at the moment. Because there's a couple of events that are around that have got some notable units that you can pick up. Obviously, like this one, you go and get that free to play uh, Freezer and Sorbet, uh, like this one here, Dokkan Awakens. I'm actually expecting this cat to EZA at some point as well, so um, I have. Uh, I've got myself a uh, like a dupe of him already at SA5, uh, just in case, uh, ready to go. Um, but basically, what have we got? We've got uh, this one here. Right, so we'll start. It's it's actually all three of these. It's it's this one here, this one here, and this one here. So we'll start at the um, the fierce battle for planet Namek. Uh, this one I'm going to start at because I would consider it probably the most important. So there's a number of stages in this event here and basically uh, one of these stages here, stage one, you can get this Kid Gohan. Okay, you get this Kid Gohan and then uh, on the final stage you've got all these like hidden potential orbs that you can land on and you can like max out uh, this uh, Gohan's hidden potential system. So that is an SSR and he Dokkan awakens into this cat right here and um, you can get him completely rainbowed for free. On top of that he has also got an EZA so you can Dokkan awaken him and then EZA him and he is uh, like still a unit like he came out during the third year anniversary and I still use this guy really quite a lot. I use this guy more than what I use like recent Dokkan Fest exclusive units that have come out. So uh, he might not be the most powerful unit in the game, but you're definitely going to get some use out of him and be able to get into a number of different events with him. So we're also going to go take a look now at the next one is Piccolo. Okay, so Piccolo comes from the Fearsome Ginyu Force stage and you can pick him up on stage 3, the same stage as the Hidden Potential Orbs. So basically, like this event here, um, like not only can you get, you know, 16 Dragon Stones just by doing everything here, but uh, stage 3, uh, actually 15 Dragon Stones, stage 3, you're getting uh, the Hidden Potential Orbs on the same stage that you're getting that Piccolo, so that is, um, that's pretty good. Uh, you don't have to go into multiple stages. The drop rate for both the Piccolo and the Gohan isn't really too great though, just the heads up. There's also, um, uh, <laughs> before I go before I go into Freezer, I think I've just like really just skipped over Piccolo, so we just go back in here and we can see like Piccolo, we get that SSR, he, Dokkan Awakens into that, and then like Gohan, this cat as well can be 100% um, in the Hidden Potential system and uh, he's also got an EZA as well, which just isn't listed in there. So then we move on to Freezer. We can get a second form Freezer from stage two of this event, and there are also all of these, his own potential orbs, so all three of these units, 100% um, rainbowed for free, um, so that's, uh, that's really good, like if you can be rainbowing units for free. Uh, the Freezer is the only second form Freezer that you can use in the game apart from the STR, uh, SR uh, second form Freezer who Dokkan awakens into a golden Freezer. Um, but uh, yeah, this Freezer is pretty good. Like he's a really strong AoE unit and uh, he, uh, he can also be obviously 100% in the hidden potential system. And uh, pretty cool looking card art as well. I like, I like that, you know. That's nice. Uh, and he can also be EZ8, just like the Gohan Piccolo. So 
So we're going to go into my um, we're going to go into my screen view now and just take a look at some stuff. Okay, guys, we're over on the Dokkan Wiki now, and I've just pulled up this Gohan here, and uh, I've also got uh, Piccolo displayed as well. And the reason why I've got these guys up is not just to show you what they do. I mean, what they what they do, you can see here, like it's on the screen now. Just zoom in a little bit for you all. Um, but uh, yeah, like nothing really too special in here, like even after they've been uh, easy aid. But like back in the third year anniversary when uh, these guys came out, so look at this, like 2000, July 2018, like he was pretty good. And you know, if he wasn't still okay, I wouldn't use him today, and I'm still using him quite a bit. So like get this Gohan done, because not only that, but like there's also a whole bunch of um, like free to play only um, character droppable car like stages that you can do and uh, you can use this Gohan and this Piccolo for so I pulled them up um, on top of that like we've also got this coming out like probably in I think I tipped April for this to come to global so this is the um, this is the LR Prime Battle Freezer EZA so if he's EZAing in April, um, one thing for sure, like for, for this event here, is uh, you look at, you can only challenge this event with certain characters. So that Gohan's there, and that Piccolo's there. Um, so that is one, two, three, four, five, six, plus the friend lead, which would be seven. So you need all of these units. Like, if you want to do this, you've got to have all of these units in it. I'd really, really recommend doing this for anybody because, like, all you need to do, you just need to look at this freezer from what he's gone to from, you know, like previous uh, to his EZA to after his EZA, and, you know, greatly raising attack and defense for one turn, causing colossal damage, causing mega colossal damage, greatly lowering attack and defense. Uh, attack and defense 50% plus additional three key 50% defense as first attacker or third attacker plus an additional 50% when performing an ultra super attack so that's an 18 key plus an additional three key when attacking super class enemies so just like Goku um, Goku's giving uh, three key when he's attacking extreme class enemies this guy's giving three key when attacking super class enemies uh, Basically, like, just go YouTube, look at um, look at this LR uh, first form freezer on um, like some of the truth videos. Like, you look at these attack stats that he's like getting with this just effortlessly. And this unit here is without a doubt one of the best free to play units in the whole game, like hands down. Uh, so, really, really recommend uh, getting this guy. It's going to help a lot of people out uh, just because he is so, so good. Like, he is like leagues better than that um, tech uh, Super Saiyan Goku. Okay, so um, the Piccolo, and uh, we go in here and we can see like this, the different stages. So, he can be used for the challenge event as well. Um, other events that uh, both of those units can be used in is uh, like all of the Prime Battle LR events. So you can use Goku and Piccolo to get the uh, Goku done. The OG Freezer, you can get him done. Trunks, take him in there. Vegeta, uh, this LR Cell. I can use all of these free-to-play units. And Krillin as well. This is uh, something that's just come out um, on the 28th of December. Uh, for the Japanese version of the game, we've got coming probably in a few, maybe June, I'd say, for, for global. Uh, we could potentially look at getting this. This is the new Prime Battle LR. We've got uh, Barbity and Boo here. Not a bad unit. Um, and uh, yeah, just this, this Piccolo as well. I've also just like... Uh, brought this unit up as well because you know he can like he's he's pretty solid right like and he can assimilate with nail um, starting from the fifth turn of battle and um, like when he does that uh, he actually becomes uh, really quite impressive still to this day and um, like even though we've got a new Dokkan Fest exclusive uh, Piccolo this 
Piccolo here is still, like, without a doubt, the best Piccolo on the planet Namek Saga. Um, is the other... Is physical Piccolo on Resurrected Warriors? Mm, no, he's, he's not. So this, like, this Piccolo here is on, like... Connect, connected Hopes. What is Connected Hopes? Oh, it's PyCon's new new category. And what sort of Piccolos do we have on, on here? We've got... Okay, so like none, right? So this Piccolo here, he'd be without a doubt the Piccolo with the most categories uh, in the game. So we, like, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight categories with this Piccolo. So if we just want to pop into the Namekians, we'll pull up the Dokkan Fest exclusive Piccolo. How many categories are you in? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so um, it's not that bad because, you know, this Piccolo is like in Androids and Cell Saga and Final Trump Card, whereas uh, this Piccolo doesn't have Final Trump Card. Um, apart from that, uh, we've, got, uh, we've got Freezer as well. So this is just everything that I pulled up on Freezer. We can see here Freezer second form. Uh, the only, uh, this is the only only one that you can use, right? Um, this guy here is a transformation of a first form freezer, this guy right here. So uh, you're not putting second form freezer on the team, you're putting uh, first form freezer on the team and he's transforming into this guy right here. So that means that the slot's always open to be putting this second form freezer up. And uh, this second form freezer uh, is really really good. So he's an AOE unit, and uh, he is uh, yeah. I'm, like I'm not going to go into him too much, but uh, I use him, and I'm still like to this day really really impressed. Like he only came out third uh, of October 2019 for global, so it's still like fairly fresh. Um, but uh, like you don't need him for any sort of like challenge events. You know, if we go in here, we can see that we can take him into all of these prime battle events. We can see what ECAs he could possibly be used for in here as well. But the challenge event, it's like empty for him at the moment. So like if we just go like back into the different challenges, the first one was the prime battle ones. The first one was Super Saiyan Goku, the second one was Freezer, and the third one was Trunks. So my tip is that that um, second form Freezer, you're probably going to need to have him rainbowed when this Trunks gets his ECA. So um, yeah, like if you can get that Freezer done, you more than likely get use out of him, especially like if you uh, if you can like got a Wicked Blood uh, Bloodline category leader that you can use and just throw him on the team. He'll be really good alongside him. Um, but yeah, my, my tip is that uh, that freezer is going to be needed when this trunks inevitably ECAs. And I'm really looking forward to that because when that trunks ECAs, I'm pretty sure that uh, like Super AGL, Super Battle Road will get so, so much easier. Like it'll get a lot easier because this trunks, he's already really good for Super Battle Road. Uh, so as far as like all of those units go, um, the freezer, or the um, the freezer, the Gohan, or the Piccolo. I'd start with Gohan. I think you're going to get the most use out of Gohan. Next, I'd go Piccolo, and then after Piccolo, I'd go Freezer. Um, that's the order that I would do it. Uh, so all of those events that I just showed you in game are scheduled to go away in a little over a week. I think they go away on the 17th of Jan. So you got a bit of time to get all this done, like each one, like Gohan, Piccolo, Freezer, uh, to completely rainbow them, I think you're going to be looking at about an hour and a half to two hours per unit. So you got heaps of time to get them done, and uh, I just really recommend getting these units done because uh, you like you need them to challenge different modes in the game and stuff. You know you can challenge these different modes. You can get like more powerful characters. And you can better like build your you know your character roster and overall have a better Dokkan account. So guys, that's my tip for today. Um, hope this has helped, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.